Thank you very much, Matthew Carrick, alongside Brian Shanahan from the Toronto Rock Athletic Centre, where the Oakville Rock dropped their final regular season game, 9-8 to the Brampton Excelsiors. Jesse Excelsior's second game of the season and the seventh straight loss for Oakville. Not how they want to go into the postseason, but really they did lead in that third period. Just some bad bounces going against them, and Will Johnson back the other way, the starting goaltender for the Excelsiors. Yeah, it really was a tough and exciting game against a Brampton team that fought hard and played well. Brampton took the early 7-5 lead in the third period here, uh, but then Oakville went on a bit of a run on their own. Sam English scores one to make it 7-6. Lansbury scores one. To, actually, that made it 7-7. Seven, seven, seven. They get the 8-7 lead on Dowick, and then some Bad bounces that led to transition. First Bennett scores, and then here's the oddest goal I've ever seen. You're going to see it again. First shot doesn't even make it to the net. It hits the stick, bounces right up into his stick. That's Blake Gibson McDonald scores the winning goal. Oakville gets a chance with a few seconds to go. That's Andrew Q. Then with a goalie pulled, Hendricks wide open here. Another save by Will Johnson for the victory for Brampton. Our player of the game, however, is standing by with Riley Cohen, Andrew Borgatti. Andrew, you had an amazing game today. Two goals and an assist. Came out with the win here. How much does this win mean to you and the team? Yeah, it was a huge one. It's obviously the last one uh, before heading to the first round against Brooklyn there. Um, and we went into that game with, uh, you know, we need this win to, to kind of set a tone in our locker, locker room there uh, and set the standard for, you know, the level of play we want to enter uh, to Brooklyn there. Hello everyone and welcome back to the track in Oakville as the Oakville Rock take on the Brampton Excel Excelsiors. You're watching MSL Lacrosse on your TV. Clock. As the cycle comes to put Josh Majeros up top. Outside shot, they score. And that sidearm shot just wide. And the breakout is on for Oakville with three players. Mike McCandle leading all of them. He's Off the bench. Off the Patterson. bench. He'll send it towards the corner. Low oh shot. My. Lucas Ferreira scores. That's correct. He came into this game with zeros. In that first period, Lanchbury wants to go low this time on Johnston. Who stands Lanchbury. in. Brampton want to run the floor. With speed, past everybody. Carter McClelland into the back of the net. One of my first lacrosse experience at this level was Brampton playing Six Nations, and we got Bomberry from Bomberry, Bomberry. Outside Ward, off the arm of Rosen Late in. The shot clock, and everybody's going to head for the bench as it's picked up by Alex Q. Down there with Mike McCannell. Q shoots, and the bouncer's in. Just his second goal of the season for Alex Q. Pushed out wide just as he got to the crease by McClellan. English still gets it back to Lanchbury, who scores. Sam English all alone finally finds Lanchbury. Number of moves in front for Borgatti. Here's Luke Robinson. Has a peak to set the screen. No look all the way through. And that when you consider Q and Lanchbury. Now Dalwick through the same shot. Bounced out to Weidman though. And then down floor they Blake Gibson McDonald in on Rosie. Ed. Blake Gibson McDonald in on Rosie. Dots all even. Andrew Q to Tyler Hendricks. The give it go. Q. Q. Six on five set with Rosie on the bench. Back to Dawick to Q in front. English Hendricks go down the stretch with players right on the doorstep. 
And that is a huge win for the confidence of the Brampton Excelsiors.